Thank you. Um, <laughs> hi, um, I'm Kaylin. I'm a senior at Thomas Jefferson. So it! And this poem is titled An Open Letter to a Rapper Named T.I. Dear T.I., when you said the words, not to be sexist, but, I rolled my eyes because I knew what came out of your mouth next would be sexist. But really, what can we expect from the man who called Donald Trump the best runner for presidency and openly supports Iggy Azalea? Uh. <laughs> not to be sexist, but I can't vote for the leader of the free world to be a woman. Really, T.I.? You were trying not to be sexist? Wow, that must have been pretty hard when you were part of the monstrosity that was Blurred Lines, AKA the pro-sexist, pro-rapist song that somehow became a hit. Stacks on deck, Patron on ice, and we can pop bottles all night. You said I could have whatever I like, and T.I., I'd like for you to stop talking and get educated. <laughs> T.I., I'll call you by your real name, Clifford, as in Clifford the Big Sexist Dog. <laughs> I'd like to ask what makes Trump the best runner when his political experience is equivalent to the amount of your songs I own. Oh. Yeah, none. <laughs> I'd also like to ask what makes you think Trump will support you in return when he openly disagrees with legally requiring women and minorities to be hired. Clifford, please. <laughs> Take a long, hard look in the mirror and realize that you are a part of the minority, meaning if Trump gets the presidency, your career is officially over. Not that I remember it ever starting, but that's not the point. The point is that you said Hillary and all women are too emotional and radical to effectively run a country. And I know you apologized for your comments on Twitter, but Clifford, you see, the problem is that, well, I, I just don't know if I can accept your apology. You seemed a little emotional. <laughs> I'm lucky to say that I've never met someone who could honestly say to my face that Trump was their favorite candidate the same way I've never met someone who said you were their favorite rapper. And I know your wife is fine with you saying these things, but before you make another sexist comment, I'd like to let you know that most women are not. And when your own son is compelled to say, my father has been to prison more times than my birthday parties, I think you need to focus more on how incapable of a man you are in running your family and less in and less with how incapable you feel a woman would be in running a country. Sincerely, women everywhere. Woo!